it really depends on how you define when I started off as an artist because it could have been 10, I wouldn't say that. I would say like 15, you know, when I first released my first EP back in Sweden until now when I'm 18. And the biggest difference is probably just growing up as a girl and becoming a woman. While I was growing up, or I'm still growing up, it kind of changes my music and the way I feel about stuff. You know, you experience a lot of different things just growing up. So I would say that it affects my music because just me as a person is changing. It would be kind of weird if I was still doing the same things I was doing when I was 10. And I'll probably do a lot different stuff when I'm 25 or 30. So just changing as a person growing up. I have a couple of songs, like old songs, that I'm like, why did I do that? You know, I'm like, why did I do that? And also, to be honest, I feel like they probably weren't my favorite songs back then, but it, it was kind of scary to tell people that. And it was scary to, to like stand up in front of all these middle-aged men and to just say, no, I don't want to do this. But now I can say that. I can say that and I will not back down for anyone. Like if I don't like a song, I will not sing that song. Or if I love a song, I'll find a way to sing that song. So I would say just being like, super confident in what I want to do that's a part of growing up but also like being being conf confident in what kind of music I want to sing so I absolutely have songs that I'm like I never did that you know like don't talk about that so <laughs> yeah <laughs>